From outside, there's just a hint of the delicate work going on behind these walls. One false move, and this lampshade of unfired porcelain could shatter. Claudia Bina and Stefan Passe are porcelain designers. They have been partners since 2007, privately and professionally. Over the years, they have developed a technique to ensure their paper-thin porcelain looks as if it has been created by nature. Hello, I'm Claudia Bina. I live and work in Leipzig as a porcelain designer. For me, it's very exciting, because I think Leipzig is a city with great creative potential. There are lots of young creative people here who are getting unbelievably diverse things up and running. Like many people in the city, the 37-year-old Leipzig native travels mostly by bicycle. Her daughter Flora has to be collected from kindergarten, and then the insider tour can begin. Her first tip is found on the banks of the river Elster, a green wooden wagon. Since 2009, it stands here every year from April to October. The Zierlich Manierlich is a dream come true for a Leipzig author who wanted to own her own cafe. It quickly became a popular meeting spot. Zierlich Manierlich is a place you can only reach by bike. That's what I really like about Leipzig. It's a bike city. You can get everywhere by bike. Good for anyone who enjoys being outdoors. Zierlich Manierlich is a circus wagon where you can drink coffee or eat tasty things. The meadow behind the wagon just invites hanging around, playing or lying down and looking at the clouds. Not far from the city center is the lake known as Kosbudener See. Claudia Bina and four-year-old Flora scale 180 steps to reach the top of Bismarck Tower. This area was opened in 2000 as a revitalized park, attracting half a million visitors each year. The lake covers four square kilometers, and it's one of Leipzig's most popular open-air spots. It's difficult to believe that once there was a huge crater here from mining brown coal. Bismarck Tower is a beautiful place. The lake is a flooded mine, really. It's simply wonderful to enjoy the water so close to the city. You get here by bike, go swimming or paddle across the lake. It's wonderful, and it hugely improves the quality of life. With Flora sound asleep at home, Claudia shows us what Leipzig has on offer for night owls. The great thing about Leipzig is that there are so many places to go and things to do. The theater, the opera, the Gewandhaus concert hall. A very good tip is Café Valdi, where you can drink wine, meet friends or dance. The café is on the southern edge of the city, a popular district for going out. Café Valdi is fairly new. It just opened a couple of years ago and usually attracts a good-sized crowd. It's just one of the places favored by the creative scene to discuss projects in the pipeline or simply unwind. <laughs> 